Jesus Christ, really? Don't forget to become a member of Unrelent Gaming's Patreon for exclusive manga content and early access. Isn't that right, Seth? I already joined his Patreon today. Tons of great stuff on there, actually. But did you really have to blow up the city? Mm, yes. You blew up the domino. You blew up the domino and you're laughing. Do you realize the f***ing crisis here? And you will be next. Unless you subscribe, like the video, and turn on notifications right now. Or else what? You'll aggressively scream another man's name for several hours? Kakarot! Kakarot! Now, although our heroes appear to be struggling in their own way by having to deal with Universe 16's God of Destruction, Ferrix, all on their own, I find myself far more intrigued with the events which are about to take place here on Lord Beerus's planet, especially with Gohan here to spar with Lord Beerus and seeing if he's best suited to be Lord Beerus's sparring partner, but if all goes according to plan here involving Gohan, and if my hunch about him is correct, then I do believe that Gohan will be more than fitting in being the perfect training partner in helping Lord Beerus evolve. As our story now continues back on Beerus' planet, following the initial events of Beerus wanting Gohan to stay while sending both Pan and Piccolo back home, to which upon a very brief engagement in having to challenge Gohan's base level before having to be shown addressing him was when Beerus went on to then respond, You know, I find this interaction to be quite an interesting one despite the many battles and challenges that have unfolded since the days of when your father went on to achieve Super Saiyan God, and since then our interactions have remained very minimal until today, and I must must admit that I'm quite fascinated by it, Beerus continues, and especially after seeing all that I was able to see come from you upon the moment where both you and Gardox were shown having to engage, and since you and I never truly had the chance to measure each other's capabilities in a fight, and I think it's time that we go and change that, for I want to see if you truly possess the potential to stand beside me as a worthy training partner, or if I'm simply just making a mistake by considering you as such a part partner, Gohan. And while your base level is rather disappointing to say the least, Beerus continues, and I want to go on ahead and see more of this beast form of yours, and especially if you wish to try and stand a good chance against me, Saiyan, with Gohan responding, well, although I'm honored to share this moment with you and having this be our first time actually going head-to-head -head since the days of when my dad had achieved Super Saiyan God, your acknowledgement of my unique path to power leaves me curious about the purpose behind your proposal in wanting me here to train with you, Gohan says. And so why are you so interested in wanting to have me as your training partner when you already have my dad and Vegeta here to help train alongside you? Was it because of my fight with Lord Gardox that you suddenly wanted to test my power to see what I'm all about with Beerus responding? Well, that, and with your father Vegeta and Broly currently in Universe 16, in what I can only assume for there to be a fight that's taking place over there as well, Beerus adds. And I'm all out of worthy challenge challengers to face, but you, on the other hand, just might be the perfect fit as this continues. But even now, the reason on why I decided to choose you was because there appears to be something different about you that I would like to explore and see for myself, Beerus continues. And if I am to reach the pinnacle of my potential, then I want to see if you could be the one that could help push me into achieving it, assuming if you even can, that is, with Gohan responding, wait, did you just say bro? As in the same Broly that Dad and Vegeta had battled on Earth a few years ago? What's going on with them? Well, regardless, so Ascension is what you're looking to achieve, is it? Well, now that makes sense, so should I go all out then, Gohan questions? Or should I gradually show you on what I'm capable of little by little, with Beerus responding, You can go and do whatever it is that you need to go and do, but remember one thing, Saiyan. If you fail to understand the grave nature of this engagement, 
judgment between us, then I can assure you now that you will be utterly obliterated, Gohan. And so now go and do whatever it is that you need to go and do and come at me, to which as Gohan was then shown doing, it was only just when Gohan was then shown quickly powering up into his ultimate form first before jumping into his beast form was when Gohan then went on to respond, yeah, well, don't go and get the wrong idea here because I do in fact happen to understand the current situation that I'm in against you, but I want you to know that before I go and show you my all, I want to go and see for myself as to where you are compared to the levels that are beneath my beast form, Gohan says. And so before we go and get there, if we go and get there, since I believe that this ought to be enough to do the trick, then what do you say, Lord Beerus, shall we? With Beerus then shown casually having to yawn and responding, well, this again, huh? Well, if you honestly think that this ultimate form of yours will be enough to do me in, then I welcome you to go and try, but don't be surprised when I go and shut you down again, Gohan. And so now, go on, then. Do your worst. To which, as Gohan was then shown charging at Beerus, it had only become evident now that Gohan wanted to see where Beerus stood before having to use his beast form as we went on to then chime in. Now, although it's undeniable that Gohan has indeed come a very long way since our first encounter back on Earth all those years ago, despite his ultimate form radiating a power that is considerably more potent than how it ever was shown being before, as intriguing as it may be, this display of strength, while impressive, will not take him very far in this battle, Whis adds. And given Lord Beerus' history and nature as a god of destruction, for Gohan to genuinely challenge Lord Beerus, he will need to delve into the depths of his power and embrace his beast form with haste if he wishes to stand a chance here, and especially after briefly having to train with Lord Beerus before Gohan had arrived. In which even then, despite with Gohan being shown attacking Beerus, with Beerus shown dodging each and every single one of Gohan's strikes, was when Beerus went on to then chime back in, you don't seriously intend on keeping this onslaught up against me for much longer now, do you, Saiyan? Because although this ultimate form of yours has gotten a tad bit stronger, you are dooming yourself if you honestly believe that it'll hold out against me, mortal. And so now, what's it going to be, Beerus questions, because these attempts are but a joke, Gohan. Well, never once did I assume that fighting you was going to be easy, Gohan went on to utter by dashing forward, and especially with everything that it is that I know about you, but if there's one thing about me that you will soon come to realize for yourself, is no matter what the odds are that are shown being stacked against me, I will always continue to fight and I will always push forward even if it destroys me, Lord Beerus. So there's plenty of more where that came from, Gohan went on to land a solid punch by responding, because I know you're itching to see me at my best. With Beerus responding, you are starting to annoy me just as much as your father once annoyed me until I went and taught him some manners. But hear me carefully, Saiyan, for no matter the improvements that you've made onto this ultimate form of yours, you and I both know that this will not prove anything, especially if you hope to survive. To which upon the very moment where Beerus was now shown being on the offensive and attacking Gohan before putting him back down was when Beerus then went on to continue, tell me something, in what world do you honestly think that this ultimate form of yours is going to favor you in? Because how could you ever hope to hold your own against the likes of another destroyer if you simply aren't at your best from the very beginning of our battle, mortal? As I want you to go and think about where you are and with whom you're fighting with here, Saiyan. Because unlike Gardox, I actually know you. And while you're under the assumption that your ultimate level will be enough, it won't be, Saiyan. And you're lucky that I'm going easy on you on top of it, and so now stand back up and do as I ask of you, or you will be destroyed. To which upon that very moment with Gohan then shown having to jump up on the ground and attacking Lord Beerus was when Whis then went on to chime in. Well, I'll be. Now I see what you're trying to do out there against the boy Lord Beerus, where he's trying to motivate the Saiyan by forcing him to go and do exactly as he did when facing off against Lord Gardox. An interesting tactic for someone like Lord Beerus to go and use here, but a very smart one nevertheless. And especially now if Lord Beerus hopes to try and get the best out of the Saiyan, then this is what he must go and do. But even this simply wasn't going to be enough to get Gohan by, because with Beerus then shown having to knock Gohan back down onto the ground was when Beerus then went on to continue, what a waste of my time, and to think that I could expect anything more from a mortal with no proper guidance.
guidance and training with a god is just pitiful. Maybe I was wrong to assume that you'd be anything like your father is when his back is up against the wall, Gohan. And so now, where is it? Where is that power that you used to fight off Gardox with? Still preserving, aren't we? And for what, Beerus questions? For it's foolish to believe that you could best me otherwise, and so tell me then. What is it that you hold dear? Because judging from the story you told upon battling Gardox, you fight for the sake of protecting your family, don't you, Saiyan? Because the difference should be quite clear on what it is that you'd need to go and do, Gohan. And so now, how could you stand before me and claim to want to protect your friends and family when you instead hesitate to unleash your full power from the very beginning of a battle? Tell me something, do I need to go and place your daughter in harm's way just as Gardox did for you to act accordingly? And as I assume that you wouldn't like that very much, now would you, Gohan Beerus went on to then stomp on down by asking? No? Well then find your resolve to show me what you're willing to fight for then, Saiyan! Go on now, mortal, do it! For you cannot safeguard anyone if you're incapable of protecting yourself in battle first, Saiyan! For this restraint, along with this hesitation that you place on yourself, are not virtues here, but liabilities, Beerus continues. And that is why I chose you, Saiyan. This beast form along with this other unknown power that you harbor are powers which I want to go and test my strength against, as they are levels of power which I want to use to evolve my own with. As the higher I climb, even for you as someone who wishes to also become stronger yourself, if you don't take this moment to show me the power that you used against Universe 15's God of Destruction, then I will end you here and now and go about my business and achieve this alone and so choose Saiyan. Do you wish to evolve yourself beyond your wildest dreams and train alongside one of the mightiest gods of destruction in the multiverse? Or do you wish to simply become an afterthought just as you have always been? As your father and Vegeta had to work their way into having me accept and train them here and so now you will be forced to do the same. No, no, just wait, Lord Beerus. With Beerus then having to respond, wait, Lord Beerus, what, Saiyan? And what exactly is it that you would want for me to wait for? It's as simple as I said, Saiyan. And so now get it together because you will not be given a second chance to do this again. Now I won't go and tell you to take this fight as seriously as you should again, because if you fail to do as I ask of you, then perhaps I ought to pay Earth another visit, and only this time, instead of just standing alongside it, maybe I'll just go and destroy it, Beerus continues, and to destroy the Earth would mean to also destroy the very family which you claim that you would want to protect, but can you? What will you be able to do to stop me if that turns out to be the case, Saiyan? Because deep down, you know that I'll go and do it too, and so this is going to be your last chance to show me. Now engage with me by using your strongest level of power so that I may see if you are worthy of calling you my training partner, or you can throw it all down the drain as I go and annihilate everyone and everything that you love, and this, dear Saiyan, is going to be your last warning. No, surely you wouldn't. Would you go on questions with Beerus responding? Oh, I would, and you should know firsthand that I'll go and do it just to see the look on your face of the aftermath of it all. Last chance, Saiyan. Contest me at your best or watch your world be ripped away. To which it was only then upon Gohan now being shown shaking with tears flowing down his face was when Whis then went on to add, well, although that may have been a little harsh for Lord Beerus to go and say, from what I'm starting to see take place, I think Lord Beerus' comments are now beginning to have an effect on Gohan. But the question now is will he channel his all and use this power which Lord Beerus demands of him in battle, or will he simply just falter under the pressure of Lord Beerus' request? You! How could you? I could never allow you to go and hurt them! Never! Gohan utters, with Beerus responding, Wait, could this be it? Yes, yes. 
Yes, yes, what a massive increase of power compared to what it just was before. And so I'm sure that this must be what I've been hoping to see because there it is. To which seconds later with a gigantic aura eruption being shown having to take place from the ground was when we then went on to chime in. And there it is. For I must admit that I never would have imagined that someone like Gohan would ever have been capable of wielding such an enormous power like the one that he is evolving into. But needless to say from what I can see, if the Saiyan is able to give Lord Beerus a sturdy and balanced battle, one of course that will force Lord Beerus into using more of his full power in this fight, then I do believe that Gohan would be the perfect fit for the job. However, I'm beginning to wonder if battling within the living realm would be ideal, especially considering what's about to take place here, and so although I am a bit cautious, we will wait and see on how this will go, with Beerus then having to utter, yes, finally, now there's the power that I've been looking Looking to battle against. Ah yes, now there's the form that I wanted to see Beerus went on to then continue upon Gohan being shown transforming into his beast form. And what better timing it could have been because I was starting to grow very impatient with you, Gohan. But there you finally are. And so then, are we ready to do this? Because for your sake, you better not disappoint me this time around because it's like I said, you won't be given another chance. But now that your full power has been brought out and onto the surface for me to see, let's just go and see if you're worthy of training with me now that your best is brought out onto the surface. And so I'll allow you the honors of being the first to go and attack me since now you have my blood pumping again, Saiyan. Now come at me, Gohan, to which as Beast Gohan was then shown dashing right towards Beerus was when Beast Gohan then went on to shout, Okay then, God of Destruction, you! You asked for this and so now that you're about to get exactly what you wanted so you better brace yourself to which upon gohan then shown having to attack beerus by being on the offensive was when we then went on to chime back in well i can safely say that the odds are now even especially now that gohan understands the meaning behind what it is that he is supposed to do but as i watch gohan spar with lord beerus however it becomes increasingly clear on why he stands as the most suitable candidate to be lord beerus's training partner Partner, but I am rather concerned on just how far these two are willing to actually go, and especially with all things considered because we wouldn't want to go and destroy the entire universe as a result of their training either. Well now, would you look at that, Beerus went on to then respond, you actually got me trying over here, Saiyan, a rarity in many cases, but I'm not Lord Gardox, and so what makes you think that I'll go and have you push me around as you did when you were shown engaging against him, mortal. Is it because of this faith that you've placed within this newly discovered beast form or what? As a matter of fact, Beast Gohan responds, it is, Lord Beerus. Because the power that you see and what I represent can never be destroyed. And I'll die trying if I must. To which, as Gohan was then shown backhanding Beerus across the face, was when Gohan then went on to continue. And since this was the power that you wanted for me to go and use against you, then let's see what you can do. Good. Very good, in fact. Beerus went on to smile upon his body being shown flying out into the distance. Yes, this was what I wanted to get out of you, Saiyan. I can't believe this, for I haven't been this excited since the days of when I battled against Goku when he first transformed into a Super Saiyan God. No, oh, now I'll admit and say that you're good, Saiyan. Saiyan, Beerus went on to then suddenly vanish. You're actually far better than I imagined that you'd be. However, as good as you may be, I am in fact that much better than you. Beerus went on to then suddenly appear behind Gohan. Now say good night, mortal. Beerus went on to then proceed by chopping Gohan in the neck. For I'll admit that you're good, but you just aren't good enough. Now ease yourself and just let it sink in, Saiyan. And while I will be truthful to you and say that you've managed to surprise me, which is no small feat for anyone to achieve, but you still have a very long way to go if you wish to match up to a destroyer of my stature, Beerus continues. And although you were able to defeat and get the best of Gardox, I am nothing like he is, Saiyan, but watching you take Gardox down with such ferocity had left me astounded, for your beast form is a force to indeed be reckoned with 
stronger than I anticipated, but there's a clear gap in your armor, which is one that's all too clear for someone like me. But to become my training partner would require far more than a simple knockout in order for a battle to be done, Gohan, which is why you are still not ready to fit that role until you've mastered these flaws, Beerus continues. And so now I don't know what it was that you did that got the better of Gardox, but clearly whatever that is, is something that is outside of your control. But even now, I will leave you with my respects, Beerus went on to then turn around by walking away, for you will need far more than raw power to stand against the gods, as experience is what shapes our very strength into becoming the ultimate weapons because without it, you are merely swinging in the dark in hopes of hitting your target, Gohan. And so in the meantime, come now, Whis, for we have other important matters to attend to, and so let us get back to it and train while the Saiyan is wait. He's gone? Beerus went on to then suddenly turn his head by questioning? But how can that even be? For the mortal was shown face down on the ground right there, and so now I see. Yes, yes, but of course, Beerus went on to continue upon being shown having to send something approaching his way, as I should have seen this coming and made sure that he went and stayed down when he did. Very impressive, but then, it was only shockingly enough now from out of nowhere as Beast Gohan made his re-entry and attempting to strike Beerus with Beerus being shown grabbing onto Gohan's punch and literally shattering the entirety of his planet was when Whis went on to then chime back in. Oh goodness, well I didn't think that Gohan would actually go and get back up and fight back after that, but even now, dare I even say after seeing Gohan literally go and get right back up and attack Lord Beerus, I'm more so convinced now than how I was shown being before that he is perfect for the position in training with Lord Beerus, but, well at what cost if the entirety of the universe is destroyed as an end result of their battle, and so now let's see. Well actually, come to think of it, Whis continues, it's worth a shot if it means avoiding getting in trouble by the Omni Kings. To which back on over onto the battlefield with Beerus now shown having to grab onto and hold Beast Gohan's punch mid-strike upon having to be shown attacking Beerus was when Beerus then went on to respond, so you baited me on a lie, huh? Well I should have known that you weren't truly knocked out cold, but now you have my attention, Saiyan. Well, good, because I'm glad that you are now starting to see that Lord Gardox isn't going to be the only god of destruction who I would have went and beat here today, because I'm far from finished, and you know that I am, with Beerus then having to quickly respond, oh, is that so? You talk as though you have already won this contest, Gohan, but need I remind you that I am not at my best, and since I know that you aren't either, it's time we drop the act and start to take matters here between us far more seriously than what we were shown doing before. And so what say you, Saiyan? Do you think that you are ready to feel my full power for the very first time with Beast Gohan responding? Then if that's how you want to go and do this, then I'll make sure to respond the only way I know as to how, and that is to show you the power of the beast that lies within me. And so hopefully now you can see that I am more than worthy enough to stand by your side as your training partner, Lord Beerus. As with that being said, here goes. But then, it was only then from out of nowhere in between both Beast Gohan and Beerus was when Whis went on to then show up by separating both Gohan and Beerus by then responding, No, right now that's quite enough as you don't want to go and destroy the entire universe as a means of having to prove a point to one another. But after seeing all that I was able to see, Whis continues, I actually have a much better idea than the one that you are both engaged in within the moment, and as I believe that it is now safe to say that Gohan here is very much worthy of being considered a training partner to you as anyone else would, Lord Beerus. Which only now brings me to this. Now, after having to observe your current levels of power, Whis adds, and I think it's pretty much safe to say that training on this planet the way you both did will only further add on to the ongoing chaos that was just shown taking place, as well as also go as far as to destroy the planet completely, which isn't something that we obviously want to do, and so, I have a counter solution that I believe will solve all of our issues without the risk of destroying anything on your planet, Lord Beerus, with Beerus responding, I see, and so what do you suggest that we go and do then, Whis? Because I intend on continuing my fight with the Saiyan, for he is exactly what I was looking for in a sparring partner, with Whis responding, well, you see, my suggestion is for us to go inside of the hyperbolic time chamber and carry on with your training in there, but since it just 
this dawned upon me after seeing the two of you battle Weiss continues, my do in fact happen to have a brother that I believe would be the perfect fit in helping aid you both in accomplishing your goals, Weiss adds. And even though it's been an extremely long time since him and I have last spoken, I have no doubt in my mind that he would be perfect in overseeing your training while together, as it was only right then and there now during that moment, where the Beyond Dragon Ball Super story of the resurrected Fallen Gods of Destruction, the Universe 16 Saga manga chapter number 2 special then comes to a close. Actually, I'll go and take it from here as I do want to go as far as to address something with all of our dear viewers at the moment. As before I go and give you the following information, if you aren't already a member of Unreal's Patreon community, then you are truly missing out on so much without you even knowing. As not only is the next episode already on the page, but if you want to support all of the content that you see and gain access to tons of exclusives along the way, then we do encourage for you all to become a members of our Patreon community today, for we will link it all down in the description box below and pinned comment section. Now I will go as far as to say that even though I should have allowed for Gohan's battle with Lord Beerus to continue to play out, rather than getting in between them to stop their fight, if I didn't go out of my way to do what I just did, then they likely would have destroyed the entire universe as a result of their battle. But even now, with all that I was able to gather in seeing Gohan battle against Lord Beerus, I have no doubt in my mind that he will be the perfect training partner in helping Lord Beerus evolve. But not before I go and add one more thing to their routine that I'm sure will spice things up regardless of what they both say, you do not want to miss out on what is about to happen coming up next. So we hope that you all enjoyed today's video as before you leave, do make sure to give this video a thumbs up by smashing that like button on your way out, as well as subscribing to Unreal Ent Gaming's channel in case you are new around here. We thank you all for watching and hope you all have a wonderful day everyone as we'll see you all in the next one. Hello! Did you know that you can stay up to date with the latest Dragon Ball content by simply subscribing to Unreal Ent Gaming? Also, don't forget to follow on these social media platforms, you sexy son of a bitch. Roshi! Silent Cell, me and the fans are having a moment. That's right. I know what you want. Extra long, thick Dragon Ball content. Quality reviews with flawless editing. Yeah. Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? You dirty bitch. Roshi, the fuck? God damn it, I need them to subscribe, Cell. And we're demonetized. Yeah, screw it. Let's cut to the video. <laughs>